Hi everyone! And yeah, moving on to this week's vlog. Um, not much has happened. <laughs> I have continued to stay home and I've just finished season 2 of Money Heist which was super exciting. I was at literally the seat of my bed just uh, looking at how the ending was like and it was really satisfying. So uh, I encourage everyone who has not yet seen Money Heist which is very hyped about to catch it if you can on Netflix. Um, and yeah, that's what I have been doing alongside with buying some more interesting things on Shopee at Lazada. So um, one of the things that I got was actually a thermometer for my room because I decided to find out how cool is my room or how hot it is during the day and I, I thought I'd just buy something like that along with a ramyeon pot, a gold ramyeon pot that um, for a few dollars that you see in those Korean drama shows it's made of aluminium so it heats up really fast and you can have your ramyeon um, really quickly. It's a one person pot. So yeah, perfect for like, you know, watching K-dramas. I also actually bought dog treats on Lazada because I've realized with the closure of the circuit breaker that I can't get dog treats for my dog Mickey anymore in stores. So I had to sort of like look online and I found a few sellers and people have recommended me several different brands so I tried this one out from Lazada and I'm pretty happy with it so I have ordered more and speaking of ordering stuff online today I had to order some soba noodles online because I couldn't find them on any of the physical FairPrice stores at all which is really strange right like soba noodles why would they be out of stock um, alongside that, we also have strange things which are missing from FairPrice including things like tomato paste, baking powder, uh, Barilla brand pasta and of course uh, tapioca starch because everyone's trying to make their own bubble tea and um, yeah, really strange things and then I also tried to find kimchi, I couldn't so I bought gochujang I don't really know what to do with it anymore but I'll just figure something out. Uh, the first sign that you know things are not as per usual was when um, my favorite Farmers Union's Greek yogurt, which comes from Australia, uh, went missing and it was gone from all the major fair price and my dad had to hunt them down the big boxes uh, whenever they are available. So that's one sign. And of course, um, what's also strange is uh, chips are missing from the shelves as well. Your Doritos as well as the um, Calbi hot and spicy, those are the really good ones uh, missing. So, you know, you people have to turn to alternatives, I guess. And yeah, it's very strange. Like, the people's priorities during this circuit breaker is really interesting because you think everyone is more, everyone is unique, but turns out we are not. Like, the way we respond and the way we buy certain items does tell us a little bit more about us as in general and that we are quite homogenous. Speaking of hype, everybody has been hyping and going on to this uh, Chloe Ting workout and challenge. So um, she's this tiny petite Brunei woman who has really good figure and she has been doing free workout programs on her website and YouTube channel and for some reason everyone is talking about them and doing them so I got intrigued because I saw the videos of people who did her before and after she does these like wrap up videos and um, it really does seem to have some effect um, if not for all most of them do record like having some form of apps so I decided maybe 10 minutes a day is not going to be that bad so I tried to do the challenge two nights before I was perspiring a lot after doing just 10 minutes of workout and today I woke up with quite a sore tailbone and of course sore mid region because um, yeah I couldn't even get out of bed I had to prop myself up I'm not sure whether I will continue with the lying down version because I think I'm doing it wrongly and so I will try to attempt the standing up but yeah it's been quite interesting I took before pictures and videos but I did it after I did the first workout because I forgot and then after that I was like maybe I should take some so hopefully I can still see some difference even though for some strange reason during this circuit breaker I'm actually not gaining as much weight as I thought I would be and in fact I lost weight uh, without doing anything so that is strange um, and I actually do see like my stomach is not that bloated or big as well so um, but I'm not going to leave that up to just the effects of circuit breaker and I'm going to try and embark on this 
um, apps challenge thing just to see whether I can do it or not. Right, so I, I hope I can. It's another 12 more days to go. So on May 14, I will have my uh, after video. Hopefully there will be something. It'll be the first time actually that I will have something because I've never done any sort of core workout videos before. The most I've done is actually just my usual uh, dance, hit cardio sessions twice a week. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, and I think that's it for the week. I've also ordered some really delicious Thai food by the way. So, uh, and I've blogged about it. So if you like, do check it out as well. Um, they are a social enterprise and a restaurant that has very fair charges for the food. So do um, support them if you can. And of course, everyone else, we have been cooking, baking, and um, keeping fit, hopefully. Stay that way, and I'll see you next week. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye!